Hi, Nicole with you from iPad Calligraphy. So today we're gonna to look at how we can vectorize Procreate artwork and stay on the iPad. So Adobe Illustrator is really the king of vectorizing. It has an awesome tool called Autotrace, but in order to use that, you need a, an expensive subscription and a desktop computer. So we wanna look at a couple of alternative ways today of how we can stay on the iPad and use mostly free apps. So Vectinator has introduced Autotrace within their app and Vectinator is free. So I'm gonna show you that as one option. And the other option I wanna show you is using Adobe Capture and Affinity Designer. Adobe Capture is free. You will need to sign up, but you don't need to pay for a subscription. Affinity Designer is a paid app, but it's a one-off cost of, I think it's usually $30. They might even have a sale for a discount at the moment, so I think it's like $15 but it's well worth it. It is a good app to have. And I wanna show you a special trick in Affinity Designer to make cleaning up vectors super easy. So it's worth watching that se second option as well. And you can make your decision on seeing how they both compare. Excellent, so let's take a look at those two options now. So I'm here in Procreate and I have my Procreate lettering ready to export. The first option that we're going to look at is using Vectinator to auto trace and clean the artwork. So my first step is to export a PNG from Procreate. So I, I have a few layers here, a couple of hidden and the lettering showing. That's all fine. It's going to merge onto one layer once I export as a PNG. And I'm just going to choose a save image, which will put it in my camera roll on my iPad. So next up, I'm going to open Vectinator now. I'm going to tap the plus sign here and choose photo. So this will take me into my photos on my iPad. I'll choose the artwork from there. So now we have our hunky dory text here. So I'll open this file up and the next step is to select the layer using your arrow tool. You just find your arrow tool on the left there. For some reason, it's locked this layer when I first come in. So I'm just gonna unlock that by going into the layers panel here and then just unlocking the sketch layer. So I will use the arrow tool, make sure the arrow tool is selected and you see you get this sort of bounding box to show it's selected. That's what we want because that will give us the option to auto trace. If I deselect that, you see under the style tab, the auto trace is no longer showing. So always make sure that you have the layer that you want to auto trace selected. So this top section here is the max number of paths. So the more paths you have, the more it will try and add detail. It is worth having quite a number of paths. I'd say around 600 is probably good. And then we can choose auto trace. So we'll just let it do its thing. And as you can see here, we now have the artwork as vector. Now there's quite a bit of cleaning up to do. At the initial lettering was quite smooth, so it has definitely added some artifacts along the path here. We can go along and delete and improve. It's also added little bits in the text. So this is important to note. I am going to compare Adobe Capture's version of auto tracing and you can make your own mind up I would say auto trace in Adobe Capture does a better job but if you just want to stick to Vectinator that's what you love and that's what you know then this is the option that you will prefer and I will show you how to clean up these paths now. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just delete this background. So you'll see that's separate. Remember we had a white background. So I'm just going to make sure that's selected and then just trash that. And that makes it easier to see if there's any remnants inside the holes of the letters that need to be deleted, which there is. But you'll notice if I just select that and then delete, it actually leaves the black shape behind it. So what we want to do instead is punch through the hole. So I want to select the main shape and the shape inside and then we need to go to our pathfinder and you'll notice the path section here that's this middle icon and we want to punch that through so that middle icon there is going to combine that. Now you'll see you can see the little squares through there so we know that's one shape. So there's a few places we're going to need to do that so I'll just do that now. 
So just by selecting the, sh the main shape and the inner shape, just by dragging your pencil over the area selects everything and you'll notice some things you need to do singularly. If you're selecting two different shapes, it starts to behave differently. Just experiment with how many you can do at a time. So now we're looking good. I think there's just one more here that we need to grab and then everything is now as it should be in terms of shapes. No, I've missed one more. There we go. Right, so you just need to select the path itself by just tapping on the very outside line and you'll see you get these little dots. So this is what we need to clean up because we had such a high path count to get those curves in the right spot. We've definitely got an excess of dots and you'll notice that gives you like little wobbles and um, etc extra details that we don't need. So in order to get rid of those you just need to select the point and press on the trash and that will just remove these extra paths and give you a cleaner shape. You can also select a point and then move the curve so you can adjust the shape like this and then actually move the points on the curve. So that will allow you to modify and just kind of improve those curves so that they're nice and smooth. So it will be something that's a bit time consuming but it will give you a much better result. So that's how you can do it just solely in Vectinator. So you would need to go around and improve those curves. As promised though, I'm going to show you another method which is using Adobe Capture. Now you don't need a subscription. There is a little confusion because it will ask you to sign in, but that doesn't mean that you need a subscription. You just need to create an Adobe account. When you first come here, it'll ask you to sign up. So just if you don't have an account already, create a new free account. So remember, we've got our artwork ready to go on the iPad. I'm gonna press this little plus down here and choose import image and choose camera roll and find our file. So now I've got hunky dory the text from Procreate PNG file here. Next I want to convert this into a shape. So you'll see we have shapes selected here. I'm just going to tap the tick icon and you can even zoom in and have a closer look. That's pretty good but I'm going to choose smooth here and now it's turned on smoothing so the, there are areas that it has improved. You know there's still things we're going to clean up this isn't perfect either but I think in comparison Adobe Capture does do a better job here and we've got less clean up to do and as promised I'm going to show you a next step as well I mean you could if you were happy with that you can export from here so I'm going to show you how to do that the first thing though is to get out of this screen so in order to do that we need to save the project and you can save that in your Creative Cloud library. It's no problem to save it there. We'll still be able to access it and export the file separately. So I'm just going to call this Hunky and then save. So that saved it just as in my library here. Now I want to export it as a file that we'll be able to work with in Affinity. Just choose the little three dots on the right side of the thumbnail down here and then you will choose export as and this will give you the option to choose either image SVG or PNG. If we're working in vector we want a SVG file. So I'll choose that then I'll choose save to files and I'm just going to save it in my iCloud and call it hunky so that's save. Okay so now I have an SVG file on iCloud that I want to bring into Affinity Designer just to edit and improve. So I'm going to open Affinity Designer. So this is the stage where it's not free. Affinity Designer is a one-off cost but it has its advantages and if you're working in Vector you're definitely going to find this a very helpful thing. So we're going to start by this plus icon here to create a new document but then we're going to import from Cloud and choose Hunky. So here's the artwork here in Affinity and I think you'll agree in comparison it is a lot smoother than we um, managed to get from Vectinator. If you wanted to stick to Vectinator you could still use Adobe Capture and then import this file into Vectinator to perhaps clean a few of those curves like we were looking at before with the little points you know there's a point there that needs to be deleted there's a point here that needs to be smoothed but the reason I want to show you affinity as part of the process is if we choose our pencil tool 
there's this little option here if I just use my pencil tool now I'll be drawing just normally with the pencil that's not what I quite what I want if I turn on this sculpt option here and then I zoom in what I can do is actually mold the path itself so it just creates such an intuitive and easy way to edit this path without needing to select each and every you've got to be careful where you put the path you must start on the path and end on the path in order for it to correctly kind of you know do it properly um, otherwise it'll start ed editing and adding different bits and pieces you don't want so it does take some getting used to but it's certainly a quicker and easier way to just really refine those paths and get those nice and smooth so you'll see here we've got sort of a really jagged point I want to make that a lot smoother so just by drawing on the path itself a few times um, you know it, the program adds those points to give the shape that you're intending and you can move around and just it, it it's a really uh, smooth experience so using affinity designer for the cleanup job is is definitely something that's worthwhile so this is why I just wanted to show you uh, affinity as well is just this pencil make sure again to select the shape and make sure when you select your pencil tool that the sculpt tool is on You've got to have that sculpt tool on in order to to get this function and then just smooth out your paths and that will just give you a really smooth finish so that's definitely worthwhile in comparison to an adobe subscription these are very good alternatives to use for vectorizing your artwork for sure so it's just a matter of whether you want to use adobe capture for the auto trace or whether you're happy with vectorinator's version of it i mean vectorinator you will definitely need to do some cleaning up uh, so i wanted to make sure you have both those options and understand the differences so that you can make your own decision when it comes to vectorizing your artwork so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more iPad calligraphy videos. I'll see you next time.